when you're constantly pursuing things, eating highly palatable foods, engaging in very stimulating anything, any behavior that's very stimulating, there's a drop below baseline and it takes an increasingly great stimulus, high threshold stimulus in order to excite you. So if people are feeling bored, unmotivated, unstimulated, most of the time it's because they are overindulging in mm. things that keep pounding this dopamine system, but the baseline of dopamine is going down. Now there are a few hacks that can actually help and Anna talks about some of these in, in her book. The main thing is to, if someone is engaging in any truly addictive behavior or substance or a behavior that just doesn't feel like it's that great, but you're finding yourself doing it compulsively, mm -hmm. texting, yeah. Instagram. I limit my Instagram time to two hours per day, which itself just sounds like a lot. Sometimes yeah, I think to myself, yeah. like I'm a grown man, I'm spending two hours a day on Instagram. That's a lot of where we spend our time now. Yeah. But if you allow yourself four hours a day on social media, you'll probably find that it's you're scrolling, you're not even sure what you're looking for. And what you're looking for is something to jolt that baseline. So you wanna limit those behaviors, or in some cases, if it gets really severe, like it was for this individual, you want to eliminate. Yes, Ideally, it's 30 days. Now, this is the same prescriptive that they give alcoholics, heroin addicts, et cetera. That, but some of those drugs, of course, have actual withdrawal symptoms that can be problematic. Uh, these days, I, I'm not a pot smoker. I've never liked drugs or alcohol. I've lucked out that way. But there's, and I'm not trying to uh, demonize, I'm not passing judgment, but the cannabis, for instance, is pretty prompt in prominent use. And it, a lot of people, the idea of 30 days without that is that I think they probably say they could do it, but it would be very challenging for mm -hmm. them. And I'm not here to tell people what to do. Then there's about drugs, alcohol or anything, but the idea is 30 days of no interaction with that thing, person, behavior, mm -hmm. all sorts of things, so that you can enjoy other things. I, yes. I like to say addiction is a progressive narrowing of the things that bring you pleasure. and if I may, enlightenment is a progressive expansion of the things that bring you pleasure. Right. All of that hinges on this dopamine system. So you have to be very judicious in your interactions with things that deliver pleasure or else they will soon not deliver pleasure and they will diminish your pleasure for everything else that you mm -hmm. interact with. So the way to think about this is wow. just to set up constraints. We don't give our kids chocolate cake for breakfast, mm -hmm. but we understand that dessert comes at a certain time of day and after completing certain things, for some reason, we just allow ourselves to just dive into this immense dopamine sensory landscape of social media. Because social media isn't just comments. You and me say, there's that, that stuff's great. But then there's also a lot of violent stuff, politically intense stuff. There's a lot of friction, there's a lot of joy. Yeah. And you're essentially going to the dopamine carnival. And so you need to restrict the amount of time. Yes. And especially if you're somebody who wants to get work done and your work is not the, the social media, and I'm pointing at social media, but this could be anything, anything that you enjoy. F uh, food, for instance, you don't want to overindulge in highly palatable foods. It's just bad for us. We know this for a number of reasons. So the key is to hmm. take this dopamine system and set it up for you to be able to be motivated and focused. And the way to do that is to make the experiences around that thing that you want to be motivated to do a little less or a lot less exciting.